Okay, uh, listen up you testicle munchers, I'm in the mood for another video and uh, thanks to Chris Quinlan, a fellow target maker. Uh, he asked me about dimensions and I'm sorry, I've had a few too many on the Monday Arvo knockoffs, so I, I can't supply you with that information at the moment, sorry Chris. As I said in my PM though, I will get those to you, but that has got me in the mood to do another video um, for all those target makers out there and those that are possibly want to whip something up for their backyard or um, to help their club out, I'm going to run you through just the quick, uh, quick uh, manufacturing process for our lovely targets. Um, I don't know my technology well enough, so I don't know how to turn this around midstream. So I'm going to see how I can go kind of like this. Firstly, work out what size your targets are. Uh, Thanks for Mick Kelly. I hope that I got the surname right. Um, he's, he has been fantastic in helping me uh, get authentic targets created for Lira. So get your target sizes right to start with. Also, you need to be aware of what your frames are sitting in, whether you're just screwing those to a bit of a, a 4B1.5 frame setup that we're running um, out at Rankin Springs, or whether you're uh, hooking them up to a target frame system on a cantilever system or, you know, where are you sticking your targets? Basically, we've got two sorts. One sort that is just a bit of core flute that we're going to screw onto a freestanding frame. That's what we use out at Rankin Springs. Sorry, all this talking is making me thirsty. Um, the second sort is the system that sits into the cantilever systems. So therefore, they need a bit of backing. So I do a little timber frame. So that's the style that I'm going to run you through. Sorry again about the super close-up, guys. Uh, right, the beer's sitting there fine. Firstly, we start off with a sheet of uh, 1220. I talk in millimetres because I used to be a chippy. 1220 by 2440 uh, sheet of core flute. We use the 5 mil white core flute. We find that that stands up quite well. Um, get your target, uh, get your core flute, cut it to the appropriate size. If you're using... Super large targets, which we uh, will be using for the 500 and 700 yard discipline, uh, where you join the core flute, because obviously these ones, way too big, much bigger than your 1220. I don't know the dimensions off the top of my head, but I'll just take you in there. So what I've done is I've joined these sections. Okay, right down there. I've joined that with... Here's my tape. Sorry, I'm just going up here to my tape selection. Okay, this is my tape selection. This stuff, this stuff, can I get that in there? 3M. It's, 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 I call it brace tape or race tape. I don't know if that's right. Um, that's what I use. I use, what have we got? Three strips on the front, two on the back, overlapping that joint. Makes them sweet. Um, that's basically it for the core flute, but onto the core flute, we then need, I use maple, maple frame. I got lazy with those ones. I just mitered them. Usually I will do a halving joint, um, 18 mil by 42 mil. I find that's a good size for stability, also reasonably cheap. Um, so use that, cut that around the frame. Sorry, once again, about the super close zoom in on my lovely head. Um, I will then... Sorry, sorry. I then cut a triangle of ply. I think I only use like three or five ply just to brace it all, you know. Um, frame that up. Uh, so it's the frame, the timber frame with the ply bracing. Before I screw, you'll see the screws along here. I actually run um, a bit of Selly's No More Gaps, just interior. Where is it? I'll take you for a little wander. Uh, I think it might be a bit hard to find. It's hiding down here. Actually, I've got a piece up here. This stuff. I hope I got that in shot. I just run a bead of that around the um, around the perimeter. Where am I? Perimeter around here. Because um, I find that even though you've got the screws, in between the screws makes a really good bond. Uh, good for the longevity of the target. So basically, that's the that's the basic construction of our targets, guys. Sorry, just finding my beer. Um, you're going to start with your core flute. You need to work out your frame size. Where's my frame? 
um, once again, 18 by 42 maple works well, quite cost effective um, as long as you can get your, your uh, secretary treasurer on side. Thanks, Mergo. Um, ply diagonal bracing uh, helps to keep it square. Um, the 3M tape to keep the core flute together. Oh, and so when you're actually doing your um, targets, obviously you're going to use a compass to draw your circles or whatever shape you're putting on them. I actually find this is probably backwards, isn't it? Because I've got reversey. Um, if you can't read that, basically it's your, uh, what is it? The rust, kill rust uh, version. I use the kill rust paint, the enamel. Excuse me, the oh, I really apologize for burping on a video, but it's a one shot wonder, guys. This is it the epoxy black enamel paint. Um, fantastic, don't need primer, sticks to the core flute. Beautiful. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, obviously, if you're using like your tin hat targets or different colors, you're going to need a white texture. Um, I just use standard textures for the black. Where's my white? Here's my white. Um, this is Super Jumbo Paint Marker. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, it's a white texture. Fucking get yourself one of them. Um, yeah, anyway, that's how you make targets, boys. Um, I'm going to put this on Facebook. Any uh, fellow target makers, guys, PM me, and I might actually start a little target maker messenger group messenger thread because i think it is so important that we share our knowledge um especially for lira we are trying to uh bring back a few of the old targets a few of the the targets that they used once upon a time um and it'd be wonderful to work together with a few of you boys to share knowledge anyway woody milo aka presidente signing off Hooroo.